Welcome back, everybody. It is Sunday night, uh, 11.30 right now. Just uh, warming the truck up and heading out, getting started. Um, still fairly fairly early in the storm. Uh, we've had a bit of snowfall since about 7, I would say, but we've had salter trucks out since, so... Just keeping a little bit on top of it. Uh, I got the call to go out and get started. There's not that much down right now, so there won't be a whole lot of action to start. Um, looking like it's going to be an extremely long night. Um, check the hourlies when I was on the phone with the super there. And it's looking like this is going to go until tomorrow night, possibly. Uh, I'm hoping... I'm hoping those projections are wrong. <laughs> I don't really want to be... I mean, this truck is all right, but I don't want to be in it that long. It's, uh, it's kind of antsy in here after that many hours, but we will see what happens as the storm progresses. Um, like I said, right now, just heading in, so... Still fairly early in the storm right now. Trying something a little different with the audio. Um, I'm hoping this is going to pan out better for me. Um, you know, time will tell, I guess. I'll review some of this as I go and, and see how it's sounding. I should have done that on the last one, but again, I didn't, and now I regret it because uh, some of that footage was really awful, so I apologize for that. Um, Visibility is still good right now. Like I said, it's just really starting to get into it right now. I think the heaviest is supposed to start in a half an hour and then start slacking off again till morning and then heavy again after that. So it'll be a lot of on again, off again, snow, um, which is always a pain, <laughs> to put it lightly. But that's... Uh, that's what I signed up for, I guess, when I went with snow plowing. <laughs> so it's it's part of the territory, it's part of the job, and it's part of my responsibilities. So this is where we're at. We're sitting in a plow truck, 11.30 on a Sunday night, getting ready to jam out to some tunes. I just watched part of the half uh, the halftime show for the Super Bowl. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. A lot of my uh, childhood growing up with the, the gangster rap, Dr. Dre, I, uh, yeah, my parents can attest to that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we'll check back in a little bit, I would imagine. I'm not, I'm not going to show too much yet. Like I said, it's just getting started. You, I mean, the plows have been through the roads already, and they're, they're not even that bad at this point, so... There's not a lot to tell yet. We'll uh, we'll go for a while and see what happens and see if we can get some good footage tonight, some better audio, and, and maybe make a video worth watching for a change. Anyway, we'll talk to you in a little bit. And we're still going. Um, the snow is not that bad. Uh, it's, it's enough to be annoying at this point, but not enough to warrant having a bunch of people out so I actually have not called in any of my help yet I've just kind of been going about it by myself it's uh, 20 to 3 um, they are still saying it's going to continue until sometime late Monday night possibly midnight uh, the heaviest the heaviest for this wave is already over um, but it's going to continue light snow I think until just before dinner time and then it's going to be heavy again for another couple hours oh, that is that seatbelt thing is really annoying um Gonna continue heavy 
for another couple hours and then peter off again to some lighter stuff um, into tomorrow evening. Like I said, probably probably midnight-ish, they're saying, Monday night, um, with a pretty cold temperatures too from what I saw I think it was at minus 18 um, which is pretty cold so quite a quite a difference from even yesterday well I suppose it wouldn't be yesterday now uh, Saturday Saturday was plus 11 plus 12 beautiful sunny day here in Halifax um, most of the snow had actually melted away, which was, again, fantastic. Um, but it, it was just in time for this storm. So now we're getting a fresh layer of snow on top of us again. Just kind of going around to a bunch of different spots here at this lot. Just doing them up really quick. I'll get this one done, get the other one done. There is one other guy in. He's been in actually since before me. Um, he was here when I got here doing the salt run, um, which obviously we stopped because it was snowing too hard for that. But he is up at one of the other spots, and then I'm looking after these other two at the moment. And then eventually, at some point, I'll get down to that other service road, too. But currently, I'm not that concerned about it. That in my other substations, just because it's really not that bad. There's nothing to be concerned about yet. Oh, pulled on my camera there by mistake. area up a little bit for them. Yet again, I am roasting in this truck. It's so bad. Like you're either you're either cold and icing up because my windshield wipers are icing up or you crank the heat on enough to melt that and you just roast. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. But that's where we stand right now. So, yeah, it's not not a whole lot different than when I was talking to you the first time, except that it's still going, it's still snowing, and the amounts are not what they were scheduled us to get yet, uh, which either means one or two things. The storm has moved off a bit. I haven't really checked the radar. Or two, it's been downgraded since that initial broadcast, in which case I should see an app update here shortly with some new numbers, which would be nice as well. I'm not going to argue if it ends up being less. Um, Especially if the timeline has changed, actually. That would be really nice. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll check back in here in a little bit after I'm done playing tic-tac-toe with these cars. It would be real nice if just one time I come in here, there'd be no cars to deal with. But instead, they, they have cars everywhere. Cars everywhere. And they never move. So you're constantly in and out between different vehicles, trying to get everything cleared enough that they can get in for the day. Anyway, 
We will catch back in later. Well, it is now 10 to 6. Still going. It's, uh, the snow's let up quite a bit. Uh, they're still calling for more. Uh, throughout the day, still trying to do most of this by myself. I did just call in one other guy. Uh, he lives quite a ways away, so he'll probably be, he'll probably be a little bit before he gets here, but, um, he can give me a hand trying to get some of this other stuff done and cleaned up. And then in another couple hours, I'll probably call some more people in because the storm's going to continue. Um, the storm's going to continue till late today. So I am going to need either A, a break, or B, some help. I think it is probably the break, to be honest. Um, I'm already starting to fade. It's pretty, pretty hard to stay moving at this point. Uh, it's pretty, pretty. Oh, <sighs> keep hitting that wire. Um, pretty tired honest but um, that was to be expected trying to do all this by ourselves with just a handful of guys to try to save some guys for later was definitely always going to be difficult um, and of course the more tired you get the more careful you have to be because that's when accidents happen. I would have loved to have gotten some more sleep yesterday, but this didn't happen. Every time I laid down, it just, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. I did get a little bit last night uh, before this call came in to come out. That was probably... Laid down at 9-ish, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and then got the phone call at 11, on the road by 11.30. So, got a couple hours, which is good. Under none, I think. This side of the building has drifted in quite badly. Not right here where I am, but down this side. See that in a minute. shove this right out the gate. Well, I can't. I could. I mean, I could. Um, but I shouldn't is what I should have said. And once I do that, then they'll cut out how the loader can get in. And he actually buckets it all the way in there and around. This is the side that's blowing in. It's blowing like crazy over here. Just everything's coming off the roof.
It's all coming off the roof. Catch this gate before it starts to close again. And I did. Perfect. Wipers are brutal. Absolutely brutal. I think I will shut the recording off for now. Um, gonna mess around back here for a few more minutes and then go down to the other spot because I haven't done out back there yet either but I'm getting a little tight to some of these trucks um, but at least then this place is opened up and the loader can handle the rest of it when he gets in he's better suited for this anyway because he can scoop it and carry it and pile it and get it Further than what I can, I keep losing it off my blade. Anyway, we will check back in in a little bit and see where we're at. Um, and go from there. Talk to you soon. So, still at it. 8 o'clock in the morning right now, <sighs> and still going, uh, no sign of it letting up, it's still snowing pretty good out right now, um, I'll show you, it's coming down pretty good at the moment, truck is all froze up again, uh, finally have some guys out to help I called some of the guys in um, I had to throw in the towel could not keep up with all of it um, so anyway they're in now they're helping out so takes a little of the pressure off I just did a little bit of shoveling because the shovelers still aren't here yet and we got people coming into these places now um, that are gonna want to be able to get in Anyway, it's it's coming. We got a long way to go yet. It's not over. Not over by a long shot. Took some. Oh, there's the shovelers out of there now. Good, so they can continue where I left off. Um, I was gonna say. Oh, I took some. I took some head mount footage tonight with the GoPro. I have no idea how it turned out. I didn't even look. I just strapped it on, hit record, and went. So we'll see. I might turn that into a time lapse or something. I had it running for quite a while. So it would definitely be a boring video if I just played that footage because I turned the sound off and everything. I was, I was jamming out to music. Don't need, uh, don't need a copyright strike. I already got one of them for my own content. Anyway. Um... 
Yeah, so still working away. <sighs> Cleaning up, re-cleaning, re-scraping. Doing a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again. Which is, I suppose, the joy of snow plowing. If you want to call it that. Let's flip this around. So yeah, it's, I mean, just my wipers are froze up. Everything's, everything's freezing. The temperature's dipping. Um, the areas I, I scraped earlier are still decent, but they are, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> they are slightly snow covered. So give them another scrape before everybody gets in here. I don't know how much, I don't know how many people will be coming into work today, to be honest. Um, I'm assuming it might be a little less than normal. Oh, that wiper is bad. Um, might be a little less than normal just because of the weather. Schools are closed, so that normally tends to Lighten the amount of people that come into work too because of child care and such. But yeah, getting tired. Yeah, four coffees in. Getting the jitters, but it's keeping me going. Wearing the shades in the snowstorm because. The white is bothering my eyes today for some reason. I find it really, really bright. It's probably not like that in reality. It's probably just me, but it is really bothering me today. Anyway, could be because I'm tired too. I will stop this for now because that wiper is driving me nuts, and I'm sure it's driving you nuts at this point too. So, anyway, we'll stop for now. We'll come back later. So it's now 12 o'clock. And it's still snowing. And I'm just up helping one of the other guys on his site. Mine are not done, but in better shape than this one is right now so come to try to give him a little bit of a hand here get him back on track definitely getting tired that's uh, that's an understatement at this point I can't even remember, did I say what time it was? <laughs> I just ate too. So now I'm really wanting to take a nap. Not really sure how everyone else is doing. I'm sure they're probably fine. I haven't heard anything from anybody, so no news is good news. At least normally. extremely tired right now. I'm kind of getting a little cranky about it too. 
stopped. <laughs> Not that it matters. These friggin' these places are such a pain in the butt to plow because everywhere there's something parked. Front you, in front of you, behind you, beside you. And it's constantly changing and the trucks are in and out of here. This is this is not a fun place to plow, I can tell you that. I certainly I certainly would not want to be in charge of this one on a day-to-day -day basis. The yard is a nightmare. But we will get it. It just takes a little bit more time and effort and patience. Like I said, that's something I'm running a little thin on at the moment. But we will get there. I don't want to take it up there for now, but I don't really want to put it there because that's not a good spot to put it. We're just going to have to move it anyway, but the other pile is already sticking out past the gate. So we can't really put it there either. So many trucks coming and going. Said the majority of this place will have to be cleaned up afterwards, like when everybody's gone. Because right now, you're not going to get a whole lot done except for in and around where there are a few holes to push some snow. The other loader's not here, which kind of sucks, but. I honestly don't know how much help it would be anyway, given what I kind of see here. I mean, that's, that's jammed. That's jammed. I just, I don't know where I'm supposed to put the snow. I'll just get it across here for now. I'll have to move it with the truck later. Or move it with the loader later. Anyway, I'm going to go because, one, this is probably some pretty boring commentary because I'm pretty wiped at the moment. Uh, and, two, I really need to concentrate because there's a lot of stuff to hit in here. Anyway, we will talk to you later. Bye.
All right, so 20 hours in, plus or minus half an hour or an hour, <laughs> and we're finally, finally getting some progress made here. Um, just actually going up a different road that I've never gone up before. So that appears to be pretty lost out um, from Nova Scotia Power here. Um, they want to want an area up here cleaned out for training exercises, I guess. I've never been up here before, so I have no idea what this looks like. So we'll have a peek here, do a little bit of plowing. See if we can't open this up a bit. Give them a bit of space. It's a fairly big yard by the looks of it. I didn't bother trying to plow coming up the hill because the heck with that. It's uh, too much too much down. We didn't touch this all night because we didn't know we were doing it. So there's a fair amount of snow here. Um, I would say it's a combination of blustering in and and what actually fell because the depth seems to vary. But yeah, so we're, we're, we're making progress, which is good. Um, things are starting to get cleaned up. The loader guy is moving some snow piles around from some stuff that we had piled up throughout the storm. Like I said, we were down a loader. Uh, so that really hampered our ability to get a bunch of stuff done um, that we normally would have during the storm. So now the loader is kind of going around the one that I do have left, uh, trying to get some of that stuff done. There is still some more to do in the main yard, but I, I think I might just wait to do that till tomorrow morning. I'm just about, just about tapped out on um, my ability to keep going. I did stop and try to take a short nap in the truck. Um, realized after that attempt that maybe I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> it's not as comfortable as it once was. Anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll get through it. We always do. We always do. This is a fairly big yard. I, can't really tell from this first view I'm giving you, but it goes to my left quite a bit. Um, so I'll get this main get this main section cleared out without backing into this gate. There's a second gate here for some reason. Um, and then once I get this area cleaned out, I'll start working on the side areas. Start opening up those pathways. But there is a lot of snow up here. Good thing is there was no rain after this one, so really it's not that difficult for the truck at all. The truck doesn't mind this one bit. Um, the only thing I wish at this point when you're dealing with fluffy stuff like this and it's this deep is I wish I had a much bigger blade eight and a half is nice but i kind of wouldn't mind the nine and a half on this right now at this moment to help speed it up a little bit certainly pushing it there's not that much weight to it so could certainly be worse could certainly be worse.
roasting in this truck again. It's like the temperature outside's at that perfect temperature for everything freezing to the truck and making a mess. <coughs> so to keep everything clear, you got to keep the heat up. But then, in keeping the heat up, I end up roasting myself inside here. The jacket goes instantly. That's that's a given. There's no jacket warm while I'm snow plowing. I wore a sweater tonight, and now I'm regretting it. I should have wore a t-shirt because I'm spending way more time in this truck this storm than I was expecting to. <coughs> I knew it was going to be a long one, but I honestly didn't think it would be this long. Hindsight's 2020, right? Oh, I got some people calling me. I will come back later. So, last night, uh, last night, <laughs> last night I left. I had enough. Um, we had everything pretty well starting to get cleaned up, and then the wind picked up and was blowing snow off the roof, and everything was getting to be a mess again. So, I quit for the night. Went home probably around 9.30 or so. I got cleaned up, got some food in me, and uh, laid down finally. So like 22 hours. And then took a break. Um, come back in this morning for quarter to six. Did a little drive around to check on some stuff. There were some guys already out doing some cleanup. Uh, there's a lot of cleanup to do at one of our properties, so came back to the office, just organized some of that, getting some guys together for that, and now I'm heading out to that property to make sure that the people can, can get the stuff moved out of the way so we can get it cleaned up and, and give them what they're expecting uh, for an end product. Um, so we're going to be another busy day, I think, of snow removal, unfortunately. This uh, this kind of really eats into our day-to-day -day job stuff. It really pushes everything back quite a bit. So anyway, we're trying. In the meantime, I'm trying to reschedule some other stuff that was important that didn't happen uh, yesterday. I'm trying to get that scheduled so we can make it happen for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that will happen. We will see. Time will tell. Uh, depends on how the rest of today goes, I guess. But uh, that's where we're at right now. So I just wanted to drop in. I, I was going to do some more video in there of that other pole yard I was doing. But had so many visitors up there then. Everybody wanted to come see it and where it was and how it was shaped. And it was just chaotic. So never did get any more video done of that. I uh, got it completed though, so that's good. Uh, they're going to be happy with that one. And uh, yeah, so I figured I'd stop in this morning, let you guys know where we're at. There's probably not a lot to see today, video wise. Um, really, it's just more of the same. It's a lot of cleanup. So we'll see. Depending on, depending on how it goes, I might shoot a little bit of the the one site but other than that we may call this one done another storm in the books for 2022 this year has been brutal uh, it's, uh, it's really really given it to us this year uh, versus the last couple the last couple have been a joke as far as snow removal so this is the first year again where you know we're actually getting some decent amounts of snow and some some decent events where we actually have to do some snow clearing and uh, starting to see where we're spread a little thin I think but anyway that's what happens when you get complacent and you don't have a lot of snow events you start taking on more than maybe you can handle when you do get some snow events people in the ditches there Jeez. anyway stay safe people 
I am gonna go check on these guys and help them get this one cleaned up. Maybe I'll stop at Canadian Tire and buy some new wipers because these ones are garbage. And uh, in case I don't come back, stay safe, everybody. And we'll see you the next time. Bye.